Welcome to the Newton County Transit Master Plan Virtual Open House. The following presentation will provide you with a background on the study and highlight recommendations and strategies for potential transit services. After watching this video, we welcome you to participate in our third public survey where you can share your views on the items presented. The drafting of a Newton County Transit Master Plan was identified as a key recommendation during the adoption of the county's 2018 Comprehensive Transportation Plan which identifies multimodal transportation opportunities and strategies to meet the county's growing needs. The Transit Master Plan will provide a roadmap for potential transit service in the county, defining opportunities to provide services and various strategies to do so by examining local demographics, community and stakeholder support, and available funding. The plan, however, will not result in immediate implementation, but will allow the county to understand the feasibility, costs, and community support for future transit service. Today, Newton County is one of only 32 counties in the state of Georgia that does not provide public transit service, though federal funding opportunities are available. Currently in its final phase, the Newton County Transit Master Plan has been in development since the beginning of 2021. During this time, the project team has engaged the community and key stakeholders and has researched and analyzed existing and future conditions such as trip patterns, traffic congestion, local demographics, and job growth. This research has served as a foundation to develop the transit service opportunities and strategies that you'll hear more about during this presentation. A vital part of the plan's development and the recommendations has been the immense community and stakeholder support throughout the project. Our technical advisory committee, comprised of local and regional planning, transportation, economic development, and other partners, has provided valuable feedback guiding the project direction and outputs. Additionally, Newton County residents have been an important voice throughout the planning process. Through participation in our previous two community surveys and now through your participation in the Transit Service Recommendations and Strategies Survey, available now through November 19th on movingnewton.com. We also want to thank those that have participated in person at our two previous open houses this spring and summer. After viewing today's video, if you still have questions or comments, we welcome you to attend our last public open house on Wednesday, November 10th at Turner Lake Ballroom. Defined using community and stakeholder input from our first community vision survey, the transit master plan goals are the guiding principles used by the project team to develop recommendations for transit service in Newton County. Some of the goals include providing mobility options for those who are unable to drive, choose not to drive, or do not have access to a car, providing connections and access to jobs and essential services, and creating opportunities for transportation alternatives to driving alone. The project team determined which areas of Newton County have the greatest potential need and demand for transit using population and employment statistics. Areas of the highest potential demand include in and around the city of Covington, along with areas along the Rockdale County line. The team also analyzed current trip patterns to better understand Newton County's transportation environment. 35% of all Newton County trips either begin or end outside of the county, whereas 54% of commuter trips have a leg outside of Newton. The most common destinations outside of Newton County were Rockdale County with 12% of trips and Walton County with 6% of trips. For commuter trips specifically, the most common destinations included downtown Atlanta, midtown Atlanta, Perimeter Center, and the Cumberland area. In addition to the needs evaluation, the project team looked to other regional transit agencies in counties with similar size and characteristics to Newton for its insights on appropriate transit services fares, hours of operation, costs, and other operating characteristics. This included Bartow, Douglas, Hall, Henry, and Paulding counties, all of which have county-operated transit services. These counties, except for Hall, also have service from the Regional Express commuter bus system. Two other Georgia agencies were looked at for other operational aspects. Three Rivers Transit System, which includes Butts, Carroll, Lamar, Merriweather, Pike, Spalding, and Upson counties, provided an example of rural transit services on a multi-county or regional level. The city of Valdosta was also evaluated for its new Valdosta On Demand service, an innovative and convenient transit service operating within the city limits of Valdosta. This analysis led to the creation of service recommendations to be considered for Newton County. Please note that these are preliminary recommendations that will be evaluated further. Timeframe for implementation may differ in final plan recommendations based on additional input, rider estimates, and costs. Countywide demand response service would provide door-to-door, dial-a-ride service within Newton County, 
This is the most common form of public transportation in rural and suburban areas of Georgia. Transit on this sort of system must be arranged at least 24 hours in advance and would be available at destinations throughout the county. Shuttle service from Covington to Conyers was one of the most requested services in our previous surveys. If implemented, this would be a fixed route service connecting downtown Covington with major destination centers in the Conyers area. Another potential shuttle route identified would connect the Covington Park and Ride Lot with the East Conyers Park and Ride Lot serviced by the Express Commuter Bus System. This would serve as an interim solution before extension of the Express System into Newton could be implemented. Potential extension of commuter bus service into Newton would allow commuters single seat access to downtown and midtown Atlanta and the area around Perimeter Center. Express buses are equipped with Wi-Fi, allowing commuters to get a jump start on the day's workload. Microtransit is an emerging form of public transit that provides zone-based coverage and app-based real-time scheduling similar to rideshare companies. This type of service has been recently launched in Hall County and City of Valdosta and has proven very popular with riders. If implemented, a downtown Covington circulator would provide service to key downtown destinations such as Covington Square, Turner Lake Park, and Piedmont Newton Hospital. Such a service is envisioned as being low cost or fare free, providing quick mobility to people in the downtown area without requiring the use of a car or the hassle of parking. Two fixed route services have been identified for additional study and potential implementation in the long term. The first of these routes would connect the Northeast Covington areas with downtown, with potential stops in the Alcove Road, Industrial Park Boulevard, Covington Airport, and Georgia Piedmont Technical College areas. This route is also envisioned to service several commercial and retail clusters along the route. A second fixed route would connect downtown Covington with the city of Porterdale to the southeast allowing Porterdale residents access to jobs, essential health and government services, and the shopping and entertainment destinations found in Covington. Transit funding and operation has its own unique set of rules and regulations, which must be navigated to create a funding plan. One important distinction is the classification between urban and rural areas. Parts of Newton County, such as Covington and Oxford, are considered urban, whereas other areas like in the south and eastern parts of the county are classified as rural. Federal regulations are different between rural and urban areas, with rural areas generally being eligible for a higher percentage of federal assistance. Transit funding is also divided between capital and operating costs. Capital funding goes toward the cost of hard infrastructure such as buses, storage and maintenance facilities, and rider amenities like stops and shelters. The federal government provides substantial subsidies for capital costs covering up to 90% of capital costs in rural areas and 80% in urban areas. In 2019, the federal government paid for 81% of all transit capital costs in the rural areas of Georgia and 70% of transit costs in Georgia's small cities. Operating costs are those costs related to the operation and maintenance of a transit system, such as the salaries of transit workers, the cost of parts and fuel, or expenses related to the maintenance of buses and other transit vehicles. The federal government provides a lower percentage of support for operating costs when compared to capital. Rural areas are eligible for up to 50% federal operating support. Smaller urban transit systems may use up to 75% of their federal funds for operational expenses. However, the average small city in Georgia only uses around 41% for operational costs. After reviewing today's recommendations and service strategies, we welcome you to visit the project website, movingnewton.com, to find additional information. By clicking on Participate Now at the top of the screen, you can provide feedback on today's recommendations by taking the project survey, available now through November 19th. We also welcome you to explore the website by visiting our documents library, which houses project reports and previous survey findings for your review. And finally, if you have questions after viewing this video, we welcome you to join us on Wednesday, November 10th at the Turner Lake Banquet Room for our last public open house. This meeting will allow you to view the information presented in today's video and provide an opportunity to speak with a member of the project team. To contact the project team electronically, send us an email to info at movingnewton.com. Thank you for viewing this presentation and we look forward to you providing your feedback on our public survey.